Hello, everybody. My name is Françoise Wilhelmi de Toledo. I'm a medical doctor, and I'm the head of the research and scientific department of uh, the clinic Buchinger Wilhelmi in Überlingen, South Germany, and Marbella, South Spain. I'm here in this family company, you can say, uh, treating more than 6,000 persons a year, and I have followed the fasting of thousands of patients since 40 years. We had the necessity to document scientifically this enormous clinical experience we have since so many years at Buchinger Wilhelmi. And uh, I'm very proud to talk to you today about one of our last studies uh, published in autumn 2019 called Effects of Periodic Fasting on Fatty Liver Index, a prospective observational study published in Nutrients. This has been made with 697 patients that were observed. And uh, out of this ones, we had a couple of hundred people who were limit in the fatty liver uh, condition, others uh, who had a definitive fatty liver with an index higher than 60. It was 264 patients. Uh, 38 were uh, diabetic type 2. So this is a pretty large collective and we wanted to measure the fatty liver index. You know maybe that fatty liver is a condition many people have, 6 to 33 percent of the people in the industrialized countries. And this is very serious disease, and this disease can turn into a liver cirrhosis. There are not so many treatments for fatty liver, and it is asymptomatic at the beginning, so the people don't notice they have the problem. It comes from overeating, especially overeating carbohydrates, and especially fructose, but also from sedentarity, not doing enough exercise, and the usual uh, Western lifestyle. So when these people come to the clinic and go for a fast, we wanted to check if, as in the adipose tissue, of course you lose fat when you fast, not even in your abdomen, but all over your body and also in your blood. The triglycerides are going down. So the metabolism of fasting is using fat as fuel. So it's very normal that the body tries to find the fat there where it is, first in the blood, in the tissues, and of course, in the liver. We could observe that this condition of fatty liver called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease evolutes in the NASH non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. This is a much worse condition. It's already an inflammation of the liver and then in liver cirrhosis. And we could document that during a fasting, the longer the best, you could go back in the severity. The people who were in steatohepatitis came back to fatty liver. And the one who were in this condition of non alcoholic fatty liver index could come in a more uh, and less severe situation. So how can we understand that? This index is made out of four parameters. The first one is a liver enzyme called the gamma-GT. Gamma-GT is an enzyme that is coming up when the liver suffers or is inflamed. And in fasting, we know that the gamma-GT is going down. Then the second parameter of this index is the circumference of the abdomen. And we know that you lose fat in the abdomen and this parameter also is get, uh, got reduced. The third parameter is the blood lipid, the triglycerides, and they go down. And the, the last parameter is the BMI, which is a reflection of the all over body weight. So the all index is going down. And this could be an extraordinary opportunity for people suffering fatty liver that they don't evolve in these more severe stages, which are sometimes uh, um, not uh, reversible anymore. So drug situation is not available 
but you have something in your body which nature has put inside of, of you. You have the genetic and the metabolic program to be able to live a period of days without eating, triggering in your body the metabolic switch toward consumption of fat. And this is why the fat also in the liver is reduced. The periods of fasting we had in this study were in average 8,5 days, but it, it went from 6 days to 20 days. So this is one of the uh, four studies we published in 2019 out of the experience uh, of the clinic in Buchinger Wilhelmi, which exists since 70 years. This is a big, big hope for patients, and I hope I could convince you. You can find this article, read it, and um, you can advise it to your patients if you are a colleague. So I suggest rediscover your ability to fast. Every human can, every animal can. And you need just the right setting and a professional guidance. Thank you for watching.